everybody, this is Star with Star Delta 9 coming at you. I am going to be doing uh, some painting of some embeds for a pina colada soap that I'm going to be making. So I needed to get these embeds done. So I thought I would bring you guys along with me. How is everybody today? I hope you're all doing well. I'm going to smoke a little bit. There's some alcohol, and I have some mica here, and some cannabis. Cheers, everybody. I did one already, painted one. <laughs> and they're cute as hell. I can't tell if I'm talking out of my earbuds or if I'm talking out of my, uh, my, <laughs> just the volume on the phone. Can you guys hear okay? So I just use a little bit of alcohol. I spray it in there. I'm using Nurture Soaps Micas. And I'm gonna paint the greenage on the pineapples and let them sit so I can make the soap tomorrow. You know, soapers have to kind of think ahead of time. Sometimes as far as four to eight weeks in advance because, you know, our soap has to cure for four weeks, five weeks, six weeks, depending on what your water discount is. And I'm just doing the greenage on them. So how, it, how are you guys holding up with this coronavirus going on? Is everybody uh, handling this social distancing? My ex's brother-in-law got taken to the hospital today. They're admitting him. He was rushed to the hospital, I think around 11.06 today. And they just told the, uh, Victor that they are going to admit him. So I hope all's well and I send Many prayers to him and his brother. If you're watching, Victor, I send you guys prayers. He'll be all right. I was watching the news on New York. New York is really got some stuff going on over there in New York, man. Here we had the first case on the lake up on the ranch where I'm no longer residing. I no longer live on the lake. Well, I have a home up there, but it's not mine. It's just a friend who's given me a permanent place to come if need be. And of course, Mr's always given me a place to come and visit it's kind of him. So how are you guys getting by with all the kids being home? Is everybody finding crafty things to do? It's hard to find things to do, but I think really what... Soapers and people should be doing that are into skincare product or bath products probably should be making some products that they haven't made in some time. How cute these are. <laughs> so that uh, you have them, you know, in case you go to the store and they're out. I looked again today for hand sanitizer and can't seem to find any. I 
It's kind of a, you get lucky, you know, when you go. But I do notice that this, the shelves at the store are uh, fuller. So it, there has to be some kind of a simulation coming back into order, right? I want to do a video tonight about the spiritual stuff and, you know, everybody's kind of on overload with this going on and they're stressed out and they've put themselves in a, you know, fight flight mode and they're, they're functioning on the sympathetic system and that causes inflammation in the body and inflammation in the body is the number one killer and cause of disease, right? So I want to kind of give people some, if I can, some modalities to help them ease and calm their mind a tad. I'm very, very peaceful. I'm very, very, very calm. I'm, in fact, so calm it concerned me a little bit. And it's just that when you utterly and completely surrender, there's really nothing to fear. We're all going to pass away someday, hopefully later than sooner. Those are so cute. And I don't want to put them down on the wrong side, you know? So uh, everything in this world is impermeable. It's, 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 uh, it's gonna, as soon as it's born, it's dying. As soon as, it, you know, a puppy is born, it's dying. As soon as a plant is germinated, it begins to grow, it's dying. As soon as, uh, you know, anything that has a pulse or believe to b breathe sustainable air, The minute it's born, it's this, the minute it's dying. It's inevitable. It's evolution. It's what makes the world go round. I love these. I'm super excited about making them. I did the sunflowers. You guys know the sunflowers I did. And then I did some rose embeds too. Hey, 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 how you doing? How you doing? Thanks for stopping in. You know, so I just want to do one tonight so everybody can kind of chill a little bit, come by, chill a little bit, uh, take some modalities and some information with them if they want. If they don't, they can leave it. It's fine. It's all good. I've seen a lot of people at the... 99 cent store in the craft department trying to find <laughs> trying to find crafts to do i'm sure all of our their cabinets everybody's cabinets are labeled all their laundry's done <laughs> their cars are washed their yards are clean so are we doing any spring cleaning you know i've been moving I, i've been moving so uh i cleaned everything before i moved in here Today, I went and bought myself a TV. It's not a very big TV, but it's a new TV. It's the smart TV, and they have them, uh, I think they were $118 or something like that regularly, and you can hang it up. It's like a 24-inch, because I just use it for my yoga and stuff and my music. I don't really watch TV. And so I thought it'd be perfect because all I had was a little tiny one. And so there was one that was sitting over by the check stand in the photo department. And the guy was putting a clearance uh, tag on it. And I'm like, well, isn't that the new TV that just came out? And he goes, yeah. He goes, it is. And I said, well, how come you're clearancing it? It just seems a little strange. And he said, well, because 
somebody accidentally opened up the box. And so they clearanced it $40. So I got it for like 80 bucks. So it was pretty cheap. And the, uh, you know, this, the, uh, thing that you have to put on the wall, the wall mount to mount it. So I haven't put it up yet because I don't know how to do that. And so I haven't ventured into the instructions yet because I needed to get this done. There's so many projects I need to get done and I'm only one person. So I wish I had someone helping me but I don't, and that's okay. It will get done. I'll probably put it up tonight around three in the morning. I've been putting a lot of things up early in the morning, I don't know why. For some reason I'm awake. All this energy is really got me going. Oh man, I can't wait to paint the, or to do this soap. It's gonna be so cute for summer. I'm thinking of taking it to CP Farms and uh, they have a little booth, a little, you know, like a farm stand. They do, it's a lavender farm. And they have a little farm stand that they do. And uh, I think they'd be really cute if they put some of my soap at the stand. They have lovely lavender. I buy from their lavender from them all the time. You think I should put some brown in the in the pineapple where the lines are? See how there's lines in them? I think I should put some brown in there. Sorry about my fingernails. Nobody can get a, a nail appointment anywhere. And I've been digging in the dirt. And I don't, I don't like wearing gloves when I dig in the dirt. I can't feel anything, so I, I like to do it with my bare hands. Might be nice. Hey, Lobo. I think it would be. Good to see you back, Lobo. Where you been? Social distancing? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. That was funny. <laughs> people <laughs> people go oh they complain about it and then I went out and I, I walk you know I'm standing there on my ex where I'm supposed to be and people <laughs> they're not social distancing me you know they're like right on top of me I'm you know like come on do you not know what that means do you not know what that means I watched a really interesting interview last night about why Korea is so much further ahead of the game than we are, you know, in this, and how they're getting such a uh, fast recovery rate. But they are finding that people that are going out or coming back or getting sick too. You get it, so you can get reinfected from it. They don't have any virus or any vaccine, I mean, yet. They're working on a vaccine, but you know, vaccines take any a long time. They take you know anywhere from six to 13 years to, to form a vaccine. They have found that certain medications that have helped with malaria and AIDS and other things have helped curb the virus. 
and the more critical patients in New York and other areas are currently getting some of those drugs. I mean, you know, we had the cholera or the uh, the SARS, the MARS, the cholera. We had the flu, the swine flu pandemic. Remember that? I think every time that you get sick or somebody creates a new virus from another country and that virus mutates. It's just like anything else that mutates, you know, if you take a tomato plant and you cross it with something else and there's a mutation there, you can get a really beautiful plant or you can get a really ugly plant. You can get a real tasty plant or you can get in a poisonous plant. So it's just, it's kind of, it's just the world doing what the world does. The universe eliminating energetically. I really, I, I'm going to talk a bit about this tonight. I really, um, I really believe wholeheartedly with every ounce of my being. That this is energetically, you know, uh, the universe creating some kind of major shift top down. Because our universal, I don't even know what you want to call it, foundation is made up and, and run on greed, power, and money. That's what everybody thinks about greed, power, and money. The more greed I have, the more money I have, the more power I have, and then the more greedy I become, right? Cheers. Well, I'm being intuitively informed, downloaded, whatever. I don't even know how to say it. Just informed. that the universe and humanity, right? Humanity is killing the universe, absolutely destroying it and each other over money, power, and greed. And the links that some will go to even to the depths of chemical, viral, political, religious, and any other isms you want to talk about warfare, right? I mean, you got to give Hitler his due, right? Look at Hitler. Look at what he did. Look at the amount of people he quarantined. You know, the government, the big brother, they, I, I, they've been in our shit for a very long time. And they are realizing that humanity is awakening. And humanity is awakening to the power, to the greed, and to the selfish of other individuals that are running our government, running our schools, our churches, our political arenas. Fuck hell, the stock market, the banks, the brokers, the real estate, even our kids' school. And you have to stop and ask ourselves a serious question. Because we won't be around to see it, right? My, my grandchildren will be the children of the future and their children, right? And I won't be there to see what happens. But if I'm teaching them and their father and mother's teaching them to run their life on power, greed, and money, and to do things 
in a not so ethical manner. Those are the children that are going to be running our universe. How long do you think that's going to last? It's already in a peril. It's already shutting down. There's already major disasters going on. There are already people killing themselves, the Columbine, the 9-11. You know, you can just pull up uh, tragedies or senseless deaths in the United States for the last five years and you probably get more than you can read in, an, in, in a day. So it's humanity is being called to awaken by universe, by God, by divine, by divinity, by source, whatever you want to call her. Whatever you want to call him, her, it, it doesn't matter what the thing is that you identify with. I use source, divine. There, it's consciousness. It's 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 it's, <laughs> it's consciousness. It's nothing else. It's consciousness. It's energy. It's powerful energy, and the money and the power and the greed that's happening in our universe. It doesn't hold a candle to it. Not a candle to it. Not one bit. And that's why I'm not. I mean, I'm concerned. Yes, for humanity. There isn't a minute that goes by when I don't lay my head down or get up in the morning and pray for the citizens in the world and humanity or sentinel beings because I do every day. Every day, every day, every day, every day, every night. And it's be I pray to wake up. Wake up and really see what's happening because you know the basic consciousness of enlightenment or spiritual awakening is the same consciousness it's not any different for you or me or anybody else it's consciousness right the only difference is your story the only difference is the gut-wrenching inner work you will do because of your pain body how heavy of a pain body do you have I had a, I, Jesus, I have the worst, I, I think I, I, I think my pain body is just like what Mr. Toey talks about in his video, he had a heavy pain body, I had a very heavy pain body, not even due to my own shit, it's not even my own shit, but it, it became my shit because I was taught it. And when I was taught it, I gained knowledge and that knowledge became my truth. And that truth is what I lived for X amount of years. And it wasn't until I awokened that I knew that truth was a lie. That's the bottom line. You, you find out the truth is a lie. And not all of it, not every detail, but it's a lie. It's a lie. And all of it, every, every bit of it has its place, right? Every bit of it has its reason for being there because it's a lesson. It's a lesson we're being taught. That's what wisdom is, right? We gain wisdom by the things we do repeatedly over and over again. Yet we don't seem to, it doesn't seem to sink into our pea brains that we, why, why that's happening to us. And so we repeat it a few times before we learn it, before we really learn it, use it and, and say, okay, I'm not fucking doing that anymore. Cheers. That's not easy though. That's like if I taught you to paint these a certain way and I put an assembly line together and everybody across the board 
were taught the same way to paint these, that's how they'd get painted, right? But if I walk in and I say, you can paint those pineapples in any way you want to paint them, I'm gonna have a shit gamut variety of pineapples, right? Souls and human sentinel beings are no different. We have our own originality, our own story, right? Some of our lessons are some of our lessons are probably the same across the board, right? Some of our lessons are probably, um, you know, they're like universal lessons you learn when you go to school. Like the boys go in the boys' room and the girls go in the girls' room and you don't kiss a girl or look up her skirt before a certain age and just things kind of like that where there's some universal respect and boundaries that are automatically learned at a certain age and people honor those boundaries, right? They don't cross those boundaries unless there's something going on with the person who's crossing the boundaries and they feel entitled to or that they are entitled to do it or allowed to do it. And that's when you get variety. The spice of life, right? And so some of those things that happen to us as we're growing up, we fragment them. And we fragment them to benefit us because it's called coping mechanism. We all have them. These are so gorgeous. These are so gorgeous. I cannot wait to do the soap. So I want to talk a little bit about that tonight on a live. I might do a video. I haven't decided yet. I, I'm really quite tired. I've been moving all my stuff by myself in and out, um, up the stairs, down the stairs. And I don't have stairs over here, thank God. And my body is just tired and I've been trying to honor my body and rest it feed it and nurture it with love and comforts and so I don't have my immune system fall. I feel amazingly healthy, just a little run down from uh, tired, like, you know, moving. I'm, I'm not stressing or anything like that. It wouldn't do me any good to do to do that anyway, right? That's what I'm. That's what I'm learning. It doesn't. It, you can approach a situation in so many different ways, and you know what is that saying? Uh, what is that saying? You can skin. Uh, no, that's not the one I want to say, use. You know the one that uses the most honey or something. When or t I don't re I don't know it I don't I, I I'm sorry I shouldn't even have mentioned it or the other one about greasing the wheel the person that makes the most noise is the one that's greasing the wheel is the one that's guilty of the crime right so I, I some of those things I'm finding to be really true in retrospect to what we do to ourselves. Because my, I look like I got alcohol on my tablecloth now. My ego, uh, uh, my egoic self, it would, it, it, it could easily tell me, girl, you are not doing that the right way. You need to do it this way, right? Or, or that's not how you usually do it, you know? It's pretty strong. It tells you what to do. You don't tell it what to do until you're awakened. And then you, when you're awakened, the ego falls. The ego falls to the wayside. It's no longer there. It's there. It's there for it's your benefit now, not for your detriment. It can still be for your detriment if you choose. I don't choose that shit. I do not choose that shit. 
So do you think I should do the little brown on the on the lines or should I just leave them that way? These are utterly beautiful. I can't decide. I don't know. So I'm just going to touch them up. So you guys say a prayer for my ex-brother-in-law. His name is Ernie. That he heals up nicely and gets to go home to his family quickly. You don't want to see anybody not well, you know? Especially now and during this challenging time that we're in. Make sure you guys are, make sure you guys are washing your hands, keeping your six feet distance. People, personal, a personal space, you know, social distancing, it works. Droplets can travel as far as three to five feet. Big droplets from sneezing or talking or yelling, everybody has them, everybody shares them with everybody. You can be hit in the eye, in the nose, in the mouth. You wear a mask. People say oh, masks don't work. They work. Masks work. Why do you think nurses and doctors wear them? Right? They work. They prevent a droplet from hitting your face or going in your mouth. Yeah, you still have your eyes and your nose and everything. But if you're keeping social distancing, and wearing a mask, you're just enhancing your uh, protection mechanism. You're just protecting yourself with personal equipment, PE. We all use PE. We use it in the garage when we paint, or when we're using caustic chemicals and we're cleaning, or when we're in the, you know, in the, in the trenches with the bleeders and the sick folk. And we, we wear it. You, you just you garb up and take care of yourself. I don't think our government or our country was prepared for a pandemic of this proportion. I really don't. If they were, they would have had ventilators in stock, masks at hand, stocks of warehouses and warehouses of groceries that were already there delivered waiting to be just put on the shelves for people you know so we have to remember that we, we have no control over a lot of stuff you only have control over what you react how you react and you can react in a positive way or you can react in a negative way is the negative way going to benefit you no is the positive way going to benefit you? Probably so. Are you going to get more results positively than in the negative realm? Yes, you'll get more results in the positive way. From others, right? You get what you put out. So if you put shit out there, you're going to get shit back. If you go out there and wreak havoc, like my boss got smacked. She got fucking slugged in the face and she passed out at the check stand over a person not being able to enter a check line. Come on. You should never put your hands on a person. Hello, Rhonda. How are you, darling? I've been painting embeds, pineapple embeds, to go on my pina colada soap that I'm making. I've been dying to make it and I had this move going on and I couldn't do it. Oh, that's great. I hope you guys are all great. I hope you guys are all doing well. Hello, Smoke Van. How you doing? Thank you. They are pretty. I'm trying to decide if I should use like this brown Scorpio. It's called Scorpio the Eighth. Isn't that weird? And put a little brown, you know how I have on the shell, there's a little bit of brown. But I thought, I really don't need to, do I? Thank you, Smoke Fan. How are you doing, Smoke Fan? Hey, who is that Tom guy, Smoke, that was here? Do you know that guy? 
And is this smoke fan, is this smoke box? Is this the former smoke box that I'm, that I'm referring to? Is that you, sir? A troll, yeah. He comes back in my chat again, he's banned. They, I know, they look real, don't they? I just painted the green on there. I did some sunflowers. <coughs> I did some really cute sunflowers. <coughs> and I did some uh, roses. And I can't, I can't decide. Uh, the sunflowers are CBD. These are, these are infused. And uh, they're ready to go, so I, I want to steam them and package them. I love sunflowers. They're one of my favorite ones. I've been looking around to see if I could find some to plant in the yard. I planted about five or six plants today in the yard. It was quite nice. It's warming up a bit outside, so I planted some stuff outside. And the two girls I have are growing, so I got to put that tent up. It's soap, Leslie. It is soap, my darling. This is soap. You have strawberries going? Oh, I, when do you plant strawberries? When did you plant them? Like a, a month ago? What fuck? Because, I, I, you know, I plant some things and then I, I write down my favorites. Oh, you're in New Jersey. Okay, okay, that's why, okay. Because I'm like, I don't have any. They're coming up. Your strawberries are coming up. I have, uh, what do I have? I have, uh, shit. Oh, you planted yours last year, so these are re-coming up. I have, uh, I think, zucchini, tomatoes. Fuck, I don't know all of them. I have to get, hold on, I have to get my thing. What did I do? Yeah, these are the, okay. So I did, I did peppers, the Spanish variety. I did uh, the pepper, the Graham Bell mix, you know, the one that has like three or four kinds. And then I did carrots. These cucumbers, because they're smaller and, and they seem to have a better <clears throat> flavor to them. And I, I, I didn't have a lot of space. And then the green beans, I love them. So when I went to the 99 cent store, I bought some, uh, I bought, five more packs, of, not five more packs, but five more things to plant with, with the ones I already planted. Do you think I should do that or do I only need to plant the one? These peppers right here, these ones? Yeah, I love these, I buy these at the store. I've never gotten a white one. I never gotten a white one. But if you check the 99 cent store right now, they have some really beautiful buds that are uh, for the flowers that are coming out for the, you know, for the spring or the summer. And uh, I was I was tempted to get them too. They're costly at the store, these ones? Yeah, the peppers, I know, I know. It's like I buy a small bag of peppers, I think, and they have the mixed variety in them, and I think it's like almost six bucks for the bag. And it, they're not very big peppers. They're, they're nowhere near a pepper size, you know. But I do like the Spanish peppers, too, to cook with. I like to put them in there. So I thought I would go ahead and plant some more. Yeah, I, that's what I did. I, I went outside and planted uh, one, two, three, four, five, six plants. Six plants. I planted the vegetables already, but before, and then I bought myself some flowers for Easter because they were they had those at, on sale, and uh, I bought myself a TV. 
to do yoga with. And now I'm going to try to figure out how to mount the sucker on the wall. It only weighs six pounds, the TV, seven pounds. It's light as heck. Oh, you just had strawberries from last year? Mmm, I got some in the freezer. Yeah, I have some in the freezer. These, those freeze up nicely. I like to make jams. I like to make a triple berry jam. I haven't made jam for a minute, so maybe if I can get the, the, the uh, everything going well, it'll be fine. I, I want to take a little box, too. There's a... Uh, I saw something on YouTube. I was watching it about a, a planner box that you could do inside your house. Uh, and it won't make a mess and you could do like five or six different types of things. So I thought maybe I'd try something like that too. Oh, baby plants, yes. And then, oh, and then I planted an aloe plant today because I miss my aloe. I used to just go out and cut my aloe vera plant. It was so big. I showed you guys that plant. It was so big. And so I bought myself a new aloe vera plant so I could go out and uh, just, when it gets big, pick something off there. You found grapes last year? I grew grapes last year, Kelly's house. I grew grapes at Kelly's house. I have it posted on my Instagram. Those grapes were beautiful, but they tasted like, whew, they were sour. They weren't, they didn't have a, they didn't have a great flavor, and I didn't know the history of their, you know, bloom and harvest, like, before I went there, and it was like, she's so, see how fast alcohol dries? I'm going to redo my table. It's a nice table, really nice table, but I want to redo it a different color, a lighter color, like this color, a light, light, light color. I don't know, I'm into... These uh, feng shui colors. You're what? Concord grapes. Mm, yes. Concord grapes are... Uh, yes. You know, it's funny. I used to like Concord grape jam. I loved it. And now I've bought some. And I don't like the taste. I don't like the way it tastes. Now, <laughs> nothing's going to taste like homemade jam. My mom made a triple berry jam that was to die for. And uh, I buy um, a triple berry jam. It's pretty expensive, but I don't like spending the money on it when I know how to make it, you know? But the grapes at the store, whew, they weren't, they weren't really sweet. They were more sour than they were sweet, you know? Cheers. Plum jam. Ooh, yum. <coughs> Plums and uh, apricots. I love those purple plums. Ooh. I love the purple ones. You know, that are red and real juicy and purple inside. That's coming. They're coming. My favorite fruit season's coming. Peaches. Ne nectarines. Yes. Yes, I do. I have a, I have some stuff from my mom's canning tools her uh, toolbox that she had, and I will not part with them. I don't care if I have to lug them around for my entire existence. <laughs> Those things, you know how people say, you know, iron pans, when you cook with them, that they get seasoned with flavor? It's true. Oh, <laughs> That's so sweet. My mom would too. She would make triple berries. She would make strawberries. She'd make apple butter. My grandmother taught me how to make the most amazing apple butter. I'm not a big peach cobbler fan, but I do like peach jelly, peach jam. Not really jelly, a uh, jam, jelly. 
especially if it's homemade. And uh, there was marmalade, marmalade. I didn't think I was gonna like that, but when I had it, I, I was really good. It was really good. Cheers. I love peaches. I think that the, the fruit reminds me of my dad because my dad used to, he used to uh, eat oranges like, he'd eat four or five oranges at a time and he would pick up a bag of oranges and watermelon and take me to the park and we'd sit there and eat them. You just lost your source? <laughs> oh. <laughs> my girlfriend has a, uh, I don't know what you call it. It's kind of like what uh, Cannabis Organum does when he grafts the plants. She's got five different fruits on one tree. And uh, they have it's been there for, for years now and it produces amazing fruit. So it's quite fun to watch it grow and to, to look at the fruit on it. I really wanted her to, sh uh, the person that lived there, I guess, or, or a gardener or something, grafted the, those trees for her, those fruit trees. And, you know, you can go through the county, like I went to this uh, Paso Spa, and they have, a, they have a couple trees in there that are grafted, but they won't let you take anything. That's what she called it, fruit cocktail. That's what she called it, fruit cocktail. Thank you for reminding me that. And I, I thought it was quite interesting because it was beautiful and all of the fruit was producing. These are gonna be stunning. They stay small, they stay, uh, really? How tall was her tree? Her tree was probably, uh, it was small in girth, but it was tall. Oh, I'm sure. And we, on the ranch, the, the deer eat them and the squirrels and the, you know, the birds. That's, that's one thing I will miss is the wildlife on the ranch. Uh, I do enjoy sitting, you know, watching the wildlife on the ranch, but I can always go to the park. I got everything before you. <laughs> I remember that, you know, we used to do shit to, to put around our trees because we had an apple tree and an apricot tree. And uh, my grandfather used to get pissed off because the deer wouldn't leave him any. And so he would try to put things up to prevent them from getting in. And they were smart little cookies. They'd get in anyway and eat them. <laughs> I said, you're never going to get more than anything that you want on that tree because they're going to beat you to it. I know I miss. I'm. I, I'm gonna miss that. Uh, but I live. I don't. I live in this. I don't live very far from there, and I can always go up there. There's, you know, there's a there's a, a consumer guest side on on the opposite side that I can go in. I don't have to go up there, but I have friends up there, and I can go up there and spend time just, you know, reminiscing. And I can drive up 46 and go right up through the wineries. To, and park right there and it looks just like where I lived, you know? And that's free. That's, I don't have to go in the gates. I don't need to go in the gates. I don't need to go in the gates. I kind of feel, uh, it's kind of nice being off the, there because I don't have to drive up there. I get home from work in like a minute and a half. It's like fucking crazy. I was like, God dang, I'm home already? Shit. It would take me 20 minutes to get home before and then I'd be too tired because I got off at eight. You know, I wouldn't get home till nine, driving up the hill and then shower. It'd be 9, 30, 10. So it's kind of nice. There are some, uh, you know, some gives and some takes to it. So everything's an adjustment for everybody, right? We all have to adjust. That's moving forward. That's evolving. You have to adjust. Not everything is going to stay the same. By the very nature of it, it's not. I'm, I'm looking at that TV. I'm thinking I'm going to go over there and try to uh, <laughs> hang up that mount and mount that TV and see if I can't test some yoga. Oh, spirit is here. See if I can't test some yoga on the screen. That's what I got it for because it's a big enough screen to where I can really do my yoga and, and stuff that I like to do. And the one I have is... <laughs> 
It's small, so this is 24 inches, and it'll be hanging on the wall, and so it'll be nice. Uh, and for the price, I couldn't pass it up. Couldn't probably. Mm -mm. I don't think I should have passed it up, no. I, I do that to myself all the time. I, do, I, I, I find something that's on sale or I find something that's a deal or something that I want, and then I'll sit and kick my ass for having it. It's like, I, no, mm -mm. I wanted it, I needed it, and uh, the price was right, and so I'm loving it, and I'm not, I'm not thinking twice about it. I can't wait to go over there and put it up. Should be four screws, super simple. Uh, the damn TV weighs seven pounds. I don't think you need two people picking it up, do you? Look at my veins. My veins are really popping. It's the energy. It's not me. It's the energy. So um, I really appreciate you guys stopping in and sharing me painting my pineapples. <laughs> I'm going to do the pina colada soap probably... I'll probably either, I may do it tomorrow. Uh, I work, well, no, I won't do it tomorrow. I'll probably do it uh, Sunday. I'll probably make it Sunday. So we'll see, we'll see. But I'll bring you guys back for the soap making and, and the use of the embed so you can see it. If you guys wanna get some CBD sunflower soaps, let me know. Uh, Lobo, your soap is ready to ship out and uh, I just shipped someone else's order from IG, and uh, yeah, I can't think of his name. Shoot, John, John, I just John, your order's out. So what? Look at your mail for your tracking number. Your your order went out. So you can always go on the little soap shed. I get an email sent to me uh, right away, and it texts me on my phone, and then I I ship it and send you tracking. So. If you're interested in that, you can go to www.littlesoapshed.com. That's my website. Um, there's product up there, lots of product up there. Uh, you, the Right now, the product that's listed on my site has been in stock for some time uh, because I stopped selling during the, some of this because I'll, I, just, I just did because I thought it was appropriate to do and even stopped making some stuff. And uh, then I thought, you know, it's just me. I know what goes in my product. I know where I got my product. I know when I bought my product. And it was way before, all my supplies came to me way before this ever came about. And all my stock was made way before this came about. So uh, I'm thinking now with the panic that's going on and the lotion that we can't find and the face wash we can't find and the soap we can't find and the salve and the creams, well, I got it all right here. So I am making things in, uh, I do a bulk, a bulk in it, like a five, uh, it's not really a five gallon, it's like a three and a half, you know, and then I can just use that for a base. And I can make 10 different products, anything from chapstick to salve. So I think I'm going to be stocking up on some of those pertinent products that people aren't able to get. My neighbors across the street weren't able to get some stuff for their pain in there. So I gave them some salve to try. You know, it, it's people can't get what they need right now. They can't even get toilet paper for crying out loud. So lotion, go try to find lotion. Go try to find sanitizer. Go try to find soap, for fuck's sake. Especially bacterial or antifungal or antimicrobial soap. You're not going to find it. All of mine is. People ask me that all the time too. Is it? Yeah, I've been saying that for a minute. Have you not been listening? Do I need to smack you? You know, it's like, yes, it's all, it's it's all made with hydrosols. It's all made with marshmallow root and comfrey root and, and uh, calendula and chamomile. And Google those, Google those herbs and you will see antimicrobial, antibacterial, antifungal, anti-inflammatory. And then put CBD on top of it and you got yourself a, a beautiful product that is sustainable earth sustainable, healthy, bacterial, fungal, and, and as amazing. 
I have, there's soap on the shelves now. They have it, but what people are asking me at the store is they want antibacterial soap. You're not gonna find antibacterial soap on the shelf right now. You're gonna find Dove and Ivory and Zest and all those commercial products that dry you out like a goddamn prune. But you're not gonna find an antibacterial, like dial antibacterial soap. They, the, you know how they have the liquid soap, the pump soap? Can't find it. People want it, they can't find it. If they find it, it's because the load came in the night before and they got lucky and they came in the store early and got a bottle. You know, so I, I, make, I can make the liquid pump sh soap. Sh a shit, shampoo or bar or it doesn't matter. Just look at the website. You can see the, the amount of products I have, right? You know, I, my son does, my son would prefer not to use a bar, a soap, and use a liquid soap, right? I prefer not to use a liquid soap because I think, for me, I use way too much of the soap on my sponge or whatever it is I'm using to bathe myself, and I'm wasting the, the product. This I put it on my sponge or my washcloth or whatever it is I'm using. I soap it up with water, use it, and then I put it on my rack. This sucker lasts me like 30 damn days. Look how small this one is. This is a three and a half ounce, right? Three and a half ounce sunflower lasts me almost like four weeks. You think you get the bar of soap in the grocery store is going to last you four weeks in your shower? I don't fucking think so. Mm-mm. -mm. Especially if it's sitting in a soap tray full of water. If you stack it nicely and put it in one of those bamboo trays that allows the soap to drain and dry, then you probably are okay. You know, it might last you a little bit longer, but it's not going to last you as long as these. I've literally tried so many soaps, like making them right, and you want to try each one. That they, they, They're just pieces, right? That the even the pieces lasted me so long that I like okay I I can't I don't want to look at those anymore now they're getting much smaller and you literally take them out and throw them away and start over and you get oh I want that one I'm gonna try that and I'm gonna try that and next thing you know you got three pieces in your shower right and it's like you can pick three different scents that you want to bathe with like I have my oatmeal milk and honey and my I have my black raspberry vanilla in there. And the goat's milk, that's three. But the goat's milk I wash my face with, the black raspberry vanilla is just so beautiful after work. And the oatmeal milk and honey I use every day. So I, I either that or the goat's milk or the CBD, it don't matter, you know? So check it out if you guys are interested or if you're looking for a product that you want made for an event or something, you know? Um, I'm sure things are getting back to normal. Things will be getting back to normal and people can move about and do some things. Stay well. Love one another. Uh, do some arts and crafts at home. Make some soap. There's some recipes all over the internet on some really great, easy, cheap recipe oils. Use the three trinities of oil, right? Uh, what is it? Uh, coconut, vegetable, and olive. So th those are really cheap oils you can use. I don't use them animal fat. So you can if you choose. They make beautiful soap. Or you can even use lard. Lard, lard makes a really nice bar. I love you guys. Thank you for stopping by and sharing this moment with me. Stay well, my friends. Social distancing does work. Wash your hands and stay well. Mm. I have enough tincture here to gag a maggot, so I'm not making anything right now. I do want to make my oatmeal bars so bad, but I have so many cookies. And I, I do need to make suckers because I, I don't have any more made up, and my last few orders took them all. So <laughs> I got I to gotta make up some suckers. At least I can make up some different flavors now. Okay, guys. Appreciate you so, so much. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, leave a comment below. If you don't have a recipe for soap or you want to learn how to do soap, let me know. Send me an email. I'll be back later probably. I'm going to do some videos on some other things. So we'll talk soon. Peace.